Today is uh, day 40. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, show you the Big Walker Motel, which is this really neat um, motel in Bland that's got all this 60s, 70s furniture. It's very, uh, very well maintained, but it just has a unique, uh, unique charm to it. Um, but anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Uh, so last night around 11.30, Brian and Shane showed up, uh, co-workers of mine, so they're going to hike with me this weekend. That was a complete surprise. Woke me up out of a dead sleep uh, knocking at the door, so it um, should be an interesting day. Uh, I don't know if you can see right now, but there's Brian's car, and it is uh, snowing today, so they picked a interesting weekend to come out here. Um, it should be a good experience. That's it. So, finally got on the trail. Today's day 40. Hiking with uh, Shane here. Hey! And then Brian. He's still messing with his trucking poles back there. <laughs> um, hiking along this road here. I assume it'll go back into the woods at some point, but um, we'll keep you updated. This is uh, Brian uh, chopping wood here. It is uh... a. <laughs> make, make it look like I'm working. Yeah. Look at this uh, pretty awesome wood pile Brian's uh, collected over here. It's impressive stuff. I need to take these guys out on the AT more often. <laughs> Give a status of how much you did today. So we, uh, I think we hiked about 18 miles today. I got to check the uh, the numbers uh, when I get back in my tent, but I think it was a good 18. That's impressive coming out of a uh, coming out of a town with a, a crappy uh, biscuit breakfast. Don't go to the uh, Tudor biscuit place. It was not impressive. I don't know how they made a franchise out of that, but well, only if you want cold biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> they never said it was hot. That's true. Well, don't menu. advertise hot biscuits. But anyway, it's way out of the way of any uh, AT town, so you're probably not going to end up going there anyway, so. <laughs> it was Chris's special treat. <laughs> yep, so that's the, uh, that's the status for tonight. Shane's got some good tips here. If you ever cook uh, with a steel or aluminum pan over an open fire, rub some dish soap on the outer diameter. That'll prevent it from turning black as you boil your water and whatnot. Nice, that's some uh, sage advice. We got a good fire going here. Looked a little bit better. I should have recorded it when it was in its full TP mode, but uh, it's burning well. All right, hey. dinner at uh, what do we call this place? Shea Chris. Shea Chris. Shea River. And we have pepperoni uh, burrito, turkey pepperoni. It's healthier. It is healthier. Look at that. I gotta eat healthy out here. I'm, uh, yeah. Got our fireside. So I gotta. And then uh, Shane's making custom trekking poles. Where's your other one? That's uh, over there. So that's the that's the one he already made. And then Shane and I are eating some uh, high sodium, <laughs> dried off beef stroganoff and chili mac and cheese. It's uh, day 41. We're all uh, a little chilly after that uh, night. It's about 32 degrees out. Shane's ready to go. Brian's getting his pack on. Get ready to do some uh, big miles today, big miles. So here we are, we made it to Dismal Falls. It's 0.3 off the trail, which is a, uh, you know, a bit of a hike, but <laughs> we, we, uh, but we made it. Let's go check it out. Oh, wow. Pretty, pretty nifty. You gotta go swim. We're playing with Brian falls in the river. Came up upon this uh, pond here in the middle of the woods. 
Yep, that's about it. So we hit the peak after a hard climb for these guys. It was pretty good. 1,200 foot climb. As you said, for these guys. <laughs> yeah, the view is worth it. <coughs> so Brian, I made the hike up here to Sugar Something Mountain. Oh, look, hey, and Shane actually made the uh, hike. It's a bit of a hike, but <laughs> but there's a cool uh, radio uh, microwave tower up here. Today is day number 42. We uh, camped, or didn't really camp, but we stayed in this <coughs> Doc's Knob shelter last night. Um, it's kind of a neat little shelter in this rhododendron uh, grove here. It's got a nice chair there. Um, the only thing it's a little, a little wet here, but the uh, shelter wasn't too bad. It was a little cold last night. Probably got below freezing, but other than that, we did uh, pretty good. Um, I'm going to head into uh, Perrysburg today. Uh, Shane and Brian have to, uh, well, at least Shane has to catch his plane, and uh, Brian's got to drive in the airport, then Brian's got to drive back to get to work on Monday. Um, I might go go with them a little bit and uh, get, some, get some beers, get something to eat with them before they leave, but other than that, I'm uh, staying in Perrysburg uh, tonight. It's only about a 10 mile hike and uh, shouldn't be too bad for me. Hopefully, uh, Brian and Shane make it. Um, I got uh, some good miles out of them this weekend. Got a couple of uh, 18s and, and today's a 10, so probably got about 45 miles out of them, so that's good. This is a morning <laughs> ibuprofen medicine taking time. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, you guys, like you don't take it too. Hey, how are you guys feeling this morning? Great, better than ever. Yes, yeah. cool. I'll, I'll uh, record this uh, later today and see uh, <laughs> see what the results are. <laughs> we got to this pretty neat little view here. Best view of the day, probably the weekend. Woo, Brian's had enough. I know, jeez. <laughs> I wouldn't sit there, but yeah, this is cool. So let me take a view with the iPhone here. See, uh, not sure what that is down there, but yeah, this is uh, the sound travels well up here. Climbing down into Perrysburg, and things are uh, starting to get green down here at the lower altitudes. Some uh, flowers are starting to bloom. Some green ground cover. It's starting to feel like spring. This is the less glamorous side of the Appalachian Trail. Just walking up a road into town. We finally got into uh, Harrisburg. Um, just walking the mile into Parisburg. And Brian and Shane all the way back there, walking in town. Today is day number 43. Uh, just it's about one o'clock. Been climbing out of uh, Parisburg. Um, I had a pretty good weekend with my uh, co old co-workers. Um, it was pretty awesome of them to come out and uh, hike with me for the weekend. I got two uh, 18 days and a 10. 10 mile day in the Parisburg with them, which is really good for uh, their first time hiking. Well, not first time hiking, but first time uh, hiking on the AT. <laughs> so those are pretty big days for the packs they're carrying. I think they're going to be uh, pretty sore for the next week or so, but they survived and handled it like a champ. Oh, wow, this is a pretty good view. I'm basically just hiking over up to rice field shelter to eat some lunch. Um, but, yeah, wow, this is... I come here produced a pretty nice view of, I guess that's Parisville down there. But, yeah, this is pretty neat. The trail goes along there. Um, the shelter is uh, down here. Um, but 
Philadelphia. I am going to uh, eat some lunch and continue on. So I decided to tent here by a nice little stream over there. A neat bridge here. It's a pretty well established tent site here, but um, it was a convenient 22 miles from uh, Harrisburg. So it's a good day because then I didn't start until 10 o'clock. 